I'm in the Alabama hills of California again. Uh, I wasn't really intending to camp here tonight, but I had to spend the entire day in Bishop uh, driving around all day scouting locations for a photography workshop I'm doing in a couple weeks. And I figured, you know what, if I drove all the way up here, might as well do an on location video. But to be honest, I really don't know what I'm gonna be taking pictures of yet. But one thing I do know, the Alabama Hills has some of the most incredible sunrises on the planet. So I'm sure I'll figure it out tomorrow morning. So I'll be sleeping in the back of my car tonight, which is always a recipe for a poor night's sleep. But knock on wood, at least there's no wind. That's really what keeps me up when I'm camping. It's actually quite gorgeous out. Full moon, calm, no wind. You might even say it's romantic. Too bad I'm alone out here. Thought about taking some nighttime photos on film, but I decided not to. Instead, I just shot a couple on digital, which were half-hearted, to be honest. Nighttime scenes under a full moon don't do much for me. Um, they kind of just look like daytime scenes with the contrast pushed too high and a blue color tone, so I don't know, just not that exciting to me. But I'll be taking pictures in the morning, and uh, I'm not that excited about those either, I'll be honest. Uh, I think it's because I, I didn't come up to take these pictures because I really wanted to take these pictures. I just happened to be up here, and so I'm taking these pictures. It's probably not the best reason to take photos, but we'll see if inspiration strikes in the morning. I'm gonna do the high saturation stuff, Fuji Velvia. I haven't shot chrome in a while, so that'll be fun. Eastern Sierra at sunrise. That's all about the color, baby. So I gotta do the, I gotta do the Fuji Velvia. But I'm gonna pack it in, cause it's getting awkward posing like this for you guys. So uh, see you in the morning. It's about 6:15. Sun's gonna be rising any minute here. And I got my Mamiya RZ67 with a 75 millimeter lens on it. And I found myself, I think a nice composition here. Still a little too dark to see through the viewfinder. Uh, no, I take that back, I can see. This is gonna be a tricky exposure because the foreground is gonna be in much, much dimmer light than the background. In addition, to a split ND or two, I'm gonna need a warming filter. Because the foreground being in shadow, it's gonna be a lot colder light, and I don't want it to look too blue. There are a ton of different warming filters out there, but mine happens to be an uh, 81A and a color correcting 75 red. So it adds a little bit of warmth and a little bit of red to it. It'll make the peaks look even better. All right, here comes the light. All right, I'm gonna use a three-stop filter, split ND. That's not too strong. Okay, here we go. This is without a warming filter. The F22 at two seconds. Ah, uh, you sure can't beat sunrise light in the Eastern Sierra. Now, it'd been so long since I shot transparency film, I kind of forgot how magical it is to see a well-exposed frame on the light table. Those vivid colors seem to jump right out of the film. Ooh, that light's coming fast. All right, now let's try it with the warming filter. The warming filter takes away a third of the stop, so I'm gonna open my aperture a third. Well, that warming filter definitely did its job, especially when you compare it to the previous version without the filter. You can see it warmed it up quite a bit. Now, I thought I'd like the warmed version better, but looking at it now, those blue tones on the first one are just too tasty to pass up. Woo, that is pretty. All right, the light now is a little more yellow than red as the sun continues to rise. So I don't think, uh, I don't think there's any other shots I want to take. Just that one. Let's hope it came out. Now do I want to try and get a shot on 6x17? That's the real question. Am I feeling that adventurous? Yeah, let's do it. 
So I'm crazy like that. All right, I'm gonna have to set this up fast. Okay. Yeah, this is probably insane trying to get this set up this quickly, but what the hell? We're here. We got the tripod. We got the camera. Might as well try. All right, I'm using my Nikon 210 millimeter. Good news is I'm not going to need a filter for this. That'll speed up the process a little bit. This would be a pretty straightforward shot. Not a real creative composition, but getting that beautiful light at least. F8 at 1 125th. Nope. F22 at 115th. As I mentioned, it's not the most creative composition in the world. And I think that's why I wasn't all that excited in the first place to take these pictures. Because I've photographed the Alabama Hills so many times that I felt like I was just repeating myself. I really wanted to create something new, something different, something I haven't done before. I'm getting bored with these obvious shots. So I'm gonna get the mountain range just down way at the bottom of the frame. And then I wanna use some real strong split ND to darken the sky above it and put, put kind of a beautiful gradient above it. Just to be honest, the sky right now is pretty boring. Uh, it's just clear blue, no clouds or anything. So uh, I gotta do something to spice it up. Okay, so I'm gonna put a four stop hard transition. By the way, when you're positioning split ND filters, you wanna do it at the aperture you plan on using. So that'll give you a better representation of how hard the transition will be. So I'm gonna put my aperture at 22 and then place the filter. All right, I'm do one, 22, 115th again. Uh, you know what? Let's lean a little dark. I think this might look interesting dark. Let's do 16 and 2 thirds, 1 30th. I wanted to lean dark, and that's exactly what I got. This, to me, is a much more interesting photo than the last one. Between the simplistic composition and the deep gradient above the mountains, I think it results in a far more creative take on this iconic mountain range. So I'm glad I didn't settle for boring, because that would have been, uh, well, it would have been boring. You know, doing weird stuff like that, super dark, split NDs, uh, it's always a, Bit of a gamble. Could look like a damn fool for doing something like that. But I'd much rather try and be creative than uh, just do the same boring stuff because it's safe. So, yeah. As the sunrise wrapped up, I decided to trade in my slow, cumbersome 6x17 camera for something a little more nimble. So I broke out my Fujifilm GA645ZI and loaded up a roll of Velvia. I knew the light was well past its prime, so I wasn't expecting anything real magical, but I thought it'd be fun to walk around and see what I could create. Not having shot Velvia at this kind of light in so long, I forgot how blue it renders things. So I think in the future I'm gonna get myself a real light warming filter, just like a skylight filter, to cut down that blue just a hair. And check it out, I even took this picture of Mobius Arch that's so creative, it's never been done before ever in the history of photography. Well, I know that was a short one, but I'm ready to get home. Uh, I was driving around for like nine hours yesterday, all over Bishop, and I'm beat. I just want to get home. So, calling it quits.
I don't know why I'm standing like this. Um, thanks for coming along with me on this trip. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.